For more than 40 years, from a little barber shop in Salon in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, Jesse Hall has watched the world shift and move around him, while very little has changed inside his shop. Except the prices. Regular haircuts when I first started, I think it was like a buck fifty to two dollars and fifty cents. Afros were like five, six dollars. The shaves were like two dollars. So now it's moved up where the average haircut now it starts like seventeen dollars and up. Despite the rise in prices, loyal customers keep coming back, though tough economic times have them coming back less frequently. Well, we still have the same clients, but they get it cut a little less now. Instead of people used to get cut every week or every two weeks, now they want to go for every three weeks. No matter if the shop is packed or if there's only a single head to cut, Mr. Hall continues to hold court, mediate disputes, and cut and style hair like nobody's business. I like to see people happy when they go out. You give them a good haircut, they go out smiling. In 1969, when Mr. Hall opened Jesse's House of Styles, things were much different in this part of Brooklyn. A lot of fighting, a lot of craziness going on around the neighborhood and stuff. But uh, I guess it was to be expected uh, at that time. People wasn't making a lot of money, but you had a lot of underground stuff going on. Of all the memories, the good and bad, Mr. Hall said he looked most fondly on the sense of family that was created in his shop. I got people that's been here for 40 years that still come. Their children come. I'm cutting their grandchildren's hair. They come in. I had a guy a couple of weeks ago, he came in and he thanked me. He said, listen, man, I opened my own shop in Jamaica now. It's been doing well out there. It makes me feel good that somebody listens. Like people said to me, so when are you going to retire? You know, I didn't want you to retire. I'm glad you're around. I'm like, well, it's something for me to do to keep my muscles going. So it keeps me going, it keeps me alive. You know, you look forward. If you don't have nothing to look forward for, I guess there's no reason to live no more. So you have to do something, give back something. That's my thing, I'm giving back something.